Today we're going to see if we can get this Nissan diesel fired up. It is a four cylinder two stroke engine. Uh, it's got a blower around this side. It is fairly loud once it gets running. I took this motor out of a 2150 Oliver tractor. Uh, we bought the tractor back in the early 80s and used it for scarifying and, and chisel ploughing. It has a set of jewels on it which made it 14 feet wide. In fact, there's a, a wheel weight hanging there uh, underneath the trebuchet that came off the Oliver as well. So here's a couple of uh, photos of the tractor uh, from the 90s when I was uh, pushing a bit of soil and stuff around with it. Uh, I'll also put a couple of photos at the end of the video as well. And if you're interested in some other tractors, I've got a 7520 video. Okay, so I have uh, made up a little bit of a temporary fuel tank here, but let's have a look at the tag on the engine on top. She says Nissan Diesel. Down here, what do we got? We got uh, serial number, it's a, I think it's a DD43. Down here, uh, rated output 141 horsepower at 2200 revs. But anyway, it's a little bit different to a, a GM in as much it does have a, an external uh, fuel pump on it. The fuel pump or the priming pump was stuck, so I've had to free that up and I did turn this engine over by hand and I did hear a little bit of a bit concerned that uh, I may have damaged something in the fuel pump but anyway we'll do a bit of work on it and see get the starter motor on and, and see uh, if we can get it started but anyway I made up this bit of a frame if you can see I didn't put a lot of effort into this to be honest with you because I thought well the darn thing could uh, it may, may not start so maybe uh, I'll put it on a different frame not sure Anyway, the hydraulic pump, I have uh, disconnected the coupler on it. Uh, no point, I uh, don't have any oil tank on it at this stage and don't need that driving. Fans had a, had a bit of an accident at some stage. The blades are a little bit bent and look, I've uh, just uh, made up a little bit of a, a quick pipe in here to just to run a bit of circulator, a little bit of uh, water around to keep it cool while it's running. Uh, around here. So in the shadows here but anyway here's the blower so that's a little bit like a, a GM in some respects I guess um, I've made up a bit of a console here not sure whether any of those gauges will work but anyway we'll see what happens okay so uh, let's get this starter motor on, on and uh, get the batteries hooked up and get it fired up Okay, so we've got the batteries uh, hooked up. We might just uh, use the priming pump just to... Now I've got the return line just running back into the top of the tank. But we'll just prime the fuel until we hear it run back in the tank. Yep. Okay. I've got the throttle wired on just a little. Here's the shut off. Everything seems to be free. Anyway, we'll see whether the, even the ignition key works. Okay. We might try a bit of error start. Well, we, uh, at least we had some smoke coming out, so we'll just give it a bit of a start and see, uh, see what we come up with.
There's a flame down there on the terminal. Just the paint, I think. So that we can get this engine loaded you might notice it's uh, sitting here underneath the crane uh, it's a fairly heavy bit of gear and just so that we can get this engine over to uh, this rally in the next weekend or so I've just taken some wheels that I've made up taken them off something else and welded a bit of uh, plate there in the end run an axle through got the wheels on hopefully now we can get it loaded and unloaded. Hopefully it might uh, create some interest for some people and uh, yeah so if you're interested check out uh, uh, a YouTube clip in a couple of weeks time and